going. Okay. I think you did great. <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome so much. Thank you for joining me this afternoon here with all missionary stories, uh, stories of missionaries full time, part time intercessors, but everyone was involved in missions in somehow. And my heart is really to mobilize the body of Christ to see their role and their place in missions. And especially mm. uh, uh, missionaries of color, I think that's like my real number one priority. Every other missionary, but missionaries of color are like my number one priority. Mm -hmm. And so I'm excited that you're here with us tonight. Uh, would you go ahead and introduce yourself to our audience so they can know who you are? Okay. Well, my name is Maggie Johnson, and I am a certified biblical counselor. I do it through the Association of um, certified biblical counselors and uh, my church. Um, I am also uh, a mother of two uh, adult children, adult. <laughs> both, both uh, on their own, Courtney and Alex, and they're on their own and uh, just love them. Uh, I married my husband, uh, Michael. Uh, we've been married about 44 years. And oh, my. What a yeah. blessing. That feels like a lifetime. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, That's a blessing, yes. I, I love what I do. I love what Sorry I do. for interrupting, yes. Congratulations on that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I love missions. I, I do. Um, and when I really think about uh, missions, it is, um, I, I just think it's, it's just what, uh, a child of God is just called to do. Mm, wow, that's awesome! I love that. Wow. So, so tell us, how did you get? How did you first get introduced to missions? You know, my pastor, uh, Pastor Walsh, always of uh, One Church Bethel's family. He, um, I think it was around about 2010, was our first missionary trip, and oh wow. And and go on it because I just wasn't ready. It's like, oh, it's just too scary. <laughs> you know, I, I yeah. never had gone um, out of the United States. I didn't even have a passport. Oh, and wow. So, yes. Oh, he, now he, of course, was a missionary pastor um, yeah. when he, before he actually um, uh, started just going full time at, at, at Bethel's family. Okay. He knew the ropes. He was he was in Czech Republic and other places. So he knew all, all about it. Yeah. And when he was introducing it to us, how and he introduced it to us because of his love for it. Yeah. That he told us of about black missionaries. I didn't even know there was such a thing. You wow. Missionaries. And uh but he said, oh, my goodness, he made us feel so comfortable about uh, about it. And every year they would come back, every trip, every trip they would come back. They would just have these these stories of how God used them on the mm. and actually how much they were ministered to by the locals and, and all and what they did and doing, mm. doing things that you wouldn't think of, like um, infrastructure. Mm hmm. They went and they painted, uh, they uh, cleaned out an area that a missionary needed. Just oh, thought, wow. hey, yeah. I could do that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, said, I, could, I could do that uh, because I thought maybe you have to be the doctor, someone in medicine or mm. someone that had a skill or profession and what have you. And I was a legal secretary. Who wants that? A missionary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could get a type. Who right? wants that in a mission field? <laughs> So I really didn't think I qualified, but there were people that were going, they were in the medical field, but they were just mm -hmm. going because they wanted to be a part of it. So I actually began to uh, consider it. And my daughter encouraged me so much. She said, mom, mm -hmm. you have to do it. just get your passport, just go. And so I did in 2015, that's my first one. I went to Belize and we oh, did wow. infrastructure. Uh, we 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 painted a, a missionary. No, no, well, she wasn't a missionary. She's actually had a daycare center for students, regardless of age. Oh, okay, she was seventy nine years old. 
What? Yes. She was oh, seven years old and had dedicated her home, uh, about three, three rooms of her home to uh, giving children some place to come after school. Mm, wow. She would teach them about the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. And just, um, I just thought, this is, this is weird. I never, and you think someone that's near 80 years old is not taking care of children. Yeah, wow. Tell you, Sister Velma, there was, when, when she walked into the room, all of us was in the missionaries were in there because we were doing the uh we were kept sitting up the places to to uh, take care of the kids. The men were doing the heavy work. But Pastor Holman told us that, well, okay, you're gonna uh you're gonna just assist in the aftercare, after daycare. Mm -hmm. Fine. I, I love that portion. And there were probably about maybe 16 of us, probably of, of that, about nine women that were there. Mm -hmm. And the children had all gathered in and they were on, I think the boys were on one side and the girls were on one side and we were just around there uh, fiddling, just doing things that she'd asked us to do. When this, and you got teenagers, middle school, you got all different age groups. Mm -hmm. This 79 year old woman walked down the aisle to get to her place in front of them. You could have you could have heard a pin drop. Wow. Such reverence. Such wow. That these teenagers, middle school, I didn't know they could be quiet. <laughs> just, it, wow. it, oh my goodness. Mm. And she was such a soft spoken person. I don't mm. think she ever raised her voice. Never she spoke. And when she finished speaking, she left. Oh, wow. We continued to do whatever we did. And I was in awe. I was in awe. And uh, just a year after that, I think she died. Oh, no. Yeah, she died. And uh, she was 80 years old, probably 80, 81, somewhere in that area. But, mm -hmm. just, but I went from Belize to... Uh, to Haiti, to D to Dominican Republic. I went probably every place my money would take me. <laughs> wow. Because of the camaraderie. Yes. Yeah. The relationship that you build before mm -hmm. the mission field. Yeah. The fast. Oh, you have to fast. We yeah. fast. We, we had devotions uh, together before we uh, Medica's pastor, uh, uh, August, believe that uh, the mission starts before you get the, to the field. I love that. I love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I'm going to pick. I'm sorry. I'm going to pick on a few things you have said that are just like, uh, and the story of the lady is just all inspiring. And uh, as how, how many people, uh, maybe they are 70 and they feel like life is over. And they still have the energy, but there's so much they can do and how much they can impact. But maybe they just need an inspiration. But you talked about when we go on the mission field, we are not just going to give, we also learn from the missionaries or the community that we go to. And that's that's so true. I think a lot of my transformation has happened living with people on the mission field. It just changes yeah. you. That is mm -hmm. that's profound. Wow. And and you said mission starts before you ever get to the field. You have to fast and pray and do all, devotion, all the devotions. And why do you think that is important? Oneness. The, the time of fasting and praying before you get to the field, why is that important? For to be one. Mm, okay, yes. Oneness. Unity. Oneness. Yeah. Unity. Yeah. And um, you're going to learn about the culture that you're going in. You're not going over there to bring America. <laughs> you have no rights in this country. You're you're going over there to serve, really, mm -hmm. to be the hands and feet of yeah. Jesus. You're not. Uh, you're going to see some things that that is just going to the cus the customs and the culture is going to be different from yours. Yes, and you got to be prepared. 
you got to be prepared for this. Someone has got to do their their um, their homework, uh, the language, uh, mm. and, and to know that you are over there. You are totally dependent upon the Holy Spirit, mm. and to have the uh, the the oneness that it takes to move as one. Yeah, Bethel, Bethel's uh, global reach, which is my uh, my church's uh, missions. Missions, okay. Missions is um, one voice going, doing. Oh wow! And it has to be ingrained in you. Mm -hmm. uh, and the fasting is 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 you're denying yourself because you you're going to eat what they eat. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to um, be in their customs if it, if it's required for a woman. To uh to head to be yeah then deny yourself yes if, yes. if, you, if you can't have any skin showing mm -hmm. deny yourself yes if they say no no pants for women deny yourself yeah when I went to uh, the other organization I went is the African Christian Fellowship ACF. Uh, the Midwest region, I went, I've gone on two missionary trips with them. And when we go into, we really go into villages, unreached places. Oh, wow. Uh, I love that. To follow the customs. Uh, even though we have, I, we can wear pants, but mm -hmm. I have to have a, a wrap around. Uh, wrap around because it is not. Now, if you are in the medical field, and I'm a biblical counselor and a prayer warrior, so I have to have a wrap around my pants so that it looks like I'm wearing a dress and yes, and uh, and and the head is covered. You know, you you and and I don't mean there's a little hair. You just put something around your your. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you cover everything. Like no, the whole head is covered, and you're you're tying the hair. You're you are looking as if you are there mm. to fit that you were, you know, that you are native. Yes. And um, I, I love that part. Yeah. Because that's just so beautiful. Yeah. I, I love it. I guess. Because when you get into their custom and you learn about why there's, they are, why they are the way they are, what they're doing, what they're doing it helps you serve better. Yes. It really mm -hmm. helps you serve better. Yeah. Yeah. And it takes a lot of humility though. Like you said, we are not bringing our culture to them. It takes right. a lot of humility to go in and recognize, well, I don't know everything. Maybe there is a reason right. why they do A, B, C, and Z. So I have to just sit and listen. And, and, right. and when they realize that, that kind of posture, most often they are so open. And there's just so much that God can do. When they realize, when the natives realize that uh, you came such a far distance for us, there is like a a connecting. Yeah. Because you, you and but but then the missionary has to get the the be of the mindset too that you would allow me to mm. serve. Because people, yeah. people don't have to allow you to serve them. That's so true, yes. And yeah. it's humbling. You don't speak the language, so you really are going to have to have an, an a, a translator or an interpreter, uh, someone to who knows the language. Yes, and yeah. you're going to have to be patient. It mm -hmm. requires for you to wait and let them interpret what you have said yeah. or to say exactly the same thing. And... And it's, it's such a humble place to be in. And, and it's good. It's, that's a good place uh, yeah. to be in the humble state. Humble state. Oh, wow. Oh, man, that's just beautiful. So so why do you think short-term missions is important? I know you've already said a few things uh, in the first. Yeah. Why is short-term missions important? You know, I don't think God called everyone to be a career missionary. Mm -hmm. uh, to leave and go. And there are people who have, and I, I have the... Uh, the chance I have the utmost respect for what they do. Yeah. But 
there should not be an excuse as to why you can't go. Mm. Your vacation, most of us, uh, I remember when I was working, I was, uh, I had two weeks vacation automatically, but then I had about four, six weeks actually, because I had been there so a long time. So why, how could I not use two weeks or a week? Yes, that is so good. You yeah. know, I'm going to do everything else. Why not use that week or however long? Mm -hmm. First, I think my first missionary trip was like seven days. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, when you go to go to go to uh, places in Africa or, and or or Spain, whatever you you're going, it usually take a good 14, 15 days to yeah. Because you have almost four days of travel time. Right. Yeah. And so um, the short-term missions give you an opportunity to see what life is like. And then you get back to your, your norm. Mm -hmm. But then when you go on, on a short-term mission, missionary trip, to me, that's just a carrot that is mm -hmm. in front of you that you could do more. Yeah. You could do longer. And um, I think short term mission are really good for people who who can't stay a half a half a month or yeah. who can't go for uh, a longer time mm -hmm. to know how important their their sacrifice is uh, yeah. to get an opportunity to to show the love of the Lord uh, to people and um, everyone does something. Yes. So someone, it's obligated to do everything. Mm -hmm. I, I like that about short-term missions. Yeah. And I, I will add for someone who has been a full-time missionary that it's so encouraging for missionaries. People don't know that. Oh, yes. Yeah. When you oh. are on the field, there are times you just like, can I just see somebody from my home? Yeah. Or somebody who just came to help me. It might, that's why it doesn't matter what you do. It might just be washing plates. Yes. But oh, you yeah. left your home and came like, it's so encouraging for missionaries. People don't know that. It is. It really okay. is. And they are so thankful. And give, but there are times we want to see you on the field. We want to, you to come and just sit where we sit and sleep on the beds we sleep on. And so yeah. we just feel like I'm not alone in this. Right. Yeah. yeah. And missionaries can get lonely. There, I have counseled uh, doing uh, them missionaries that are, are, are in various parts, but they can get lonely because they may or may not see some result of their labor for a very long time. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the the locals now sometimes we we think of missionaries sometimes, and this this is this is this is what I I've, I've since learned as as going with um, uh, ACF, the African Christian Fel uh, Fellowship, mm -hmm. is that I used to have the, the the impression that missionaries were coming from and going to a place, well, when you get on um, on the field, sometimes missionaries have left their particular city. Yes. And gone to another city within their own country. Yeah. They've been trained. They learned the language. They learned, because uh, so many other different languages are spoken within a, a country in itself. Mm-hmm. And uh, they leave their city and go to another city or sometimes leave another village and go yeah. to another village that speaks a totally different language. And um, they are just in, in awe and so encouraged by your coming. Yes. Uh, that, that they just want to just, uh, you know, come back again. Yeah. And they're just, you know, if they have two things, they're going to give you one. Yes, yes. <laughs> I did that anytime somebody visited on the mission feel like you had to take something with you. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so tell us a little about your mission experiences. I know you've said a little bit they like the, especially the recent one you just came back from. Yes. Well, just going to uh um uh, to uh, I've been to like four country four different countries in in Africa, and each ex has had a different experience. Oh, wow. Uh, just coming back from Mozambique. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, That's Portuguese. Portuguese. Oh, my. Beautiful country. Beautiful country. Oh. And uh, beautiful people. The, the, uh, 
I'm just in awe of the uh, of watching people work with what they got. Mm. You know, they, they, some of them have much, but some of them have very very little. Yeah, and will share with you what they have and welcome you into their homes. Uh, welcome you uh, to have a meal. It's a big thing to have a meal with someone. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that is intimacy, you know, to have yeah. a meal with someone and to, um, uh, to ask you, how are you doing? And mm -hmm. to care, just, just to care. We, we met locals. We were, um, we were actually able to visit some missionaries uh, in their, their, uh, their areas and just, be a part to learn how they're growing their own foods. Oh wow! Oh yes, I I tell you, Mozambique, uh, they are so close to the Indian Ocean, and uh, once I was told that once they plant um, a sweet potato, mm -hmm. the, the the vine and what have you, uh, they water it for a week, and then after that, you do not have to water it at all. Even oh. Wow. Yes. And bucanvias that are just growing. Oh, I I, I just loved it. I loved it. Oh, uh, wow. And just having an opportunity to uh, to be a counselor uh, on the mission of mission field. God validates. Mm -hmm. I think it is it is Proverbs uh, 18, 16 that says God makes a way for a man's gifts. Mm, yes. Whatever gift God has given you, He can use it on the mission field. He gives mm -hmm. every the Holy Spirit has given every child of God a gift. And you can use it on the mission field. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh just just being able to I remember learning, I, I learned this in um uh, in, in Malawi was that uh so with medical people and when they do the triage, they, they take the vitals. And I was just wondering, oh God, what am I going to say? They don't even know what a counselor is. And, <laughs> and uh, my my interpreter, she she would take the 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 vital sign, the triage card, and she said, Oh, she says, she'd asked me about the blood pressure. And I said, Well, oh, those blood pressures are very high. And she's, oh yeah. And she says, Oh. Got it. Oh, the wow. said, yes. yes, because see, when I asked you about your blood pressure, there is a reason why your blood pressure is high. Mm -hmm. That's an introduction into counseling yes. What's going on in your life that is causing you to. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, That's my goodness. So and I, were, I remember asking people that, are, are you okay? And I can't remember a couple of them or a few of them were asking, like, you care in their own language. And the interpreter was saying, you care about? I said, yes. Wow. I came here to care, to pray, yes. to, to counsel you right where you are. And they were like, some people just wanted to just sit and just tell the <laughs> story. But you've got a line of people that are waiting. But mm. it was it opened so many doors as we went from village to village to just mm. do the medical and and mine was prayer and counseling and mm -hmm. I'll tell you the it, it, it was just wonderful I I love it I loved it and, and oh wow oh yes yes that's the beautiful harvest, the harvest is plentiful the harvest yes. is plentiful oh yes, yes. yes. so plentiful just yeah. more laborers to go. Yeah. That gives us a good transition. What would you say to someone who would like to go on the field to get an experience, but they're afraid? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes sometime you do things afraid. You mm. just do oh, um, wow. That's a, that's a good perspective. Yeah. And you um, first realize that uh, mission being missional is not an option. When you think about the Great Commission, yeah, uh, Jesus, Jesus didn't make a a uh, suggestion. 
<laughs> right. Wow. Yes. He, he he told us Matthew um 28. 28, 18 through through yeah. 20. 20. He said um all authority mm -hmm. has been given to me on in heaven and in earth. Yeah. So you are he, he, you you are going under his authority. Mm. He says, therefore go. And so that means you can't stay. <laughs> Uh, make disciples of all nations, mm -hmm. baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe or obey all that I have uh, oh, I told bet you. you and commanded. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm with you always. Yeah. So it's not like you're going in your own strength. You're going because it is a your, your church said go or a missionary organization said go. No, your Savior. Mm -hmm who had your, you in his mind when he hung, bled, and died uh, for mm -hmm. us, yes. wants you to take whatever he's given you, what you've been taught mm. to go out on the mission field and love God. This is the way you love him, by obeying him. Yeah. And you love others that you love yourself. Just think, if you were somewhere, wouldn't you want someone to come to you? Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you go, you go because you have the authority to go uh, and you're commanded to go and mm. you have been, you have tasted of the love of God mm. so, yeah. and, and be and in, be a spiritual influence yeah. uh, to someone who, uh, who knows the Lord and they're on the mission field and you are with people who who, whom they are uh, coming alongside and you being a source of strength, building up the body. Of yes. God, loving the brethren. And you get an opportunity uh, to meet people whom you will probably never see again. Mm. But you have an opportunity to impact their life just for, let's say 15 days, 12 days or, or seven days. They are doing this 24 hours, well, well, at least 365 days a week. Shouldn't you sacrifice at least seven of your days? Wow. To take the love of Christ into a people group that may or may not have heard. And um, if, if they've heard the gospel, if they receive the gospel, they still need to be supported. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it still takes money. Mm -hmm. it, still, it still takes money for someone to put food on their table. Mm -hmm. And a lot of time a missionary is, is not allowed to uh, to get a work visa. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. They have to be supported. They have to be supported. Yeah. Right. They have to be supported. They have to have a, a shelter. Mm -hmm. They're not living in hotels. <laughs> <laughs> Wish. <laughs> no, they are, are um, they, they are in the villages, and so they're living as the natives. And the villages yeah. are living. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of them have have uh, some, some organization might have a mission house. Yeah, but that mission's house is if it is may or may not be equipped with electricity. Um, in in certain parts uh, of the world there still is a place where you have uh, a hole in the the ground and you've you've given a place to squat you know yep. yeah or some places may have a facility uh, a a toilet but it is it's not flush with the handle you put uh -huh. it in it you know yep. so after a while you learn that you know what you can squat. Yes. And you can uh, squat out, squat off the flies and still eat. And still eat. And still eat. Uh, and, and be okay and nothing happens to you. <laughs> you know, you can eat chicken and rice and rice and chicken for the next seven days. You are just yeah. fine. Yeah. Some days yeah. without any chicken. Yeah. And it's still good. And it's yeah. just... You can eat whatever you can 
you will you will learn that you can wash your clothes and hang them up. I tell you what else you can learn. You can learn that a what is considered a store five hotel in your country and in in a, in, in a store five hotel in another country might you might have geckos for free. You yeah. may have little visitors that are occupying your, your room while you're out in the mission field. I had that. They call it the great lizard. <laughs> <laughs> they call it the great lizard. I learned that I was sharing my room with a great <laughs> lizard. And the great lizards are huge. Uh, with a great <laughs> lizard in the daytime. And in the nighttime, he was nocturnal. So he was out. He was coming. Oh, my. So I learned, look, it's okay. It's you, okay. I, yes. No, yes. no big deal. You want the hotel room in the morning, and then the, you in the daytime. I'm just gonna use it at night anyway. Yeah. You you learn. You'll get. You'll yeah. learn to die to yourself. Mm -hmm. Learn to yeah, die. To thank you for for sharing. You're, you're talking, and I'm holding back my tears because mm -hmm. not only are you talking with just the anointing and the presence of God is so much upon you as you're speaking because I believe that's the heart of God. Oh yeah, and so I think that as a church we become so self centered yeah. that we have ignored God's mission, God's heart, and it's just what can I get from God? And I, I was like, Jesus, God giving us Jesus enough of sacrifice, mm -hmm. and we have to show demonstrate that love back. So that's thank you for sharing that. That's just beautiful. And so, uh, so how can people support missionaries, especially full time missionaries? Okay, yeah. Well, I, I believe you should, um, if your church has a mission ministry, definitely support them. Yeah. You know, don't ever think that anything, $5 is, $5 to you might be no, no change, but it is, it can be huge on the mission field. Mm -hmm. yes. and, and then enough people giving $5 a month is huge. It's huge. Yes. But 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 challenge yourself, you know. Go without a meal, you know. Fast, yeah. and that, and that that um, fifteen dollars that you would spend on a meal, put it in the put it in the missionary, yeah. put it in the missionary's hand, you know. And 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 watch watch the 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 peace that comes over you that you are supporting the monetary. It still takes money. Yes, it does. It does. Yeah. Oh my. And no no one is getting room for free. No one is getting anything for free. Uh, they have to depend upon people providing for them. Yeah. Uh, but also um, pray for them. Let me show you yeah. something. I, I okay. do not I don't know what happened, but I'm so sorry. Whatever may have happened. That's okay. But I wanted to, I have begun to do this. Oh, what's that? This is um, a very, it's a very smooth stone. Uh -huh. And I have, uh, I have missionaries. And oh. I keep it in my, in my office. And I will put the name of some missionaries and some organizations. And as I am walking by, this rock oh, wow. <clears throat> and <clears throat> it stays there and when I'm walking by it I will see a name on there I pray for them mm. persecution is real yes persecution is real yeah you know need on the mission field are, are real yeah we not we may not, not know all about uh how prayer works yeah but we do know prayer works yes so another way you do that is become a prayer warrior for a missionary amen uh ask them they'll tell you what they're They'll tell you what their needs are. 
Yes. And you, you may not be able, let's say money is, is not something that you have, but prayer is, prayer is stronger than money. Mm. Money. I love that. Tool. Yeah. It is a tool, but prayer is a necessity. Yes. You really can't without it. Mm. So pray for a missionary. Have their name uh, somewhere that you can see it, or the Holy Spirit will bring up your missionaries to your remembrance throughout the day and pray mm -hmm. for them. Yeah. We'll pray for them. Of course, go. Yes. And support them by going. Mm. You know, it, uh, it, if you, if it takes $25. $500 for you to go to a missionary on a missionary trip. That's only like um, 10 people to give you $5. Mm. Just ask, make it small. Ask, yeah. ask someone to support you. Mm -hmm. You know, ask someone to, because as I, as, as you are going, they're sharing in the, someone's, Someone uh, plants, someone waters. Yeah. God is going to give the in increase. Yes. He's going to do his part. Mm. Partner with someone. I can't go uh, for whatever reason. I can't go. I'm, 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 I, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm challenged physically or I, or I just want to do something. Then partner with someone and say, I'm going to sponsor you. Mm. I'm going to help you go. Yeah. And then pray for them as you, as they're. Uh -huh. So there is there when, when, when there's a, a commandment, a, a command, it's not a suggestion. It's, it's just that it's a commandment. And, and it's something that we are. Re remember, remember also that uh, Paul teaches us that it's important unto man to die once. And after that, we're going to face judgment. Yeah. He, he's he's going to want to, he's going to ask, what did you do with my son? What did you do with the gift that I gave you? Did you mm. make disciples? So be a part of it. Wow. You know, the, the, it, 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 it is the reality of being born again is that you were born to become like Jesus. And that's what God is doing. He, yeah. he his son left heaven, right? So mm -hmm. you got to, Yes. He, while he was on earth, he said, what I hear the father saying, I say. Mm. What I see the father saying, I do. I do. Thing. That's what we're doing now. In these last, last days, we're listening to him. Yeah. We're doing what he does. Yeah. He did. And we're going out. We just, we're just imitating Jesus. Yeah. And everything. You know, Romans 8, 28, 29, he's going to cause all things to work together for your good, whatever those things might be, because he's up to something in verse 29 to mm. transform you into the image of his son. Amen. And yes. no better way to do that to yourself and, and be a part of supporting mm. missionaries. Wow. Oh, man, so much wisdom, so much anointing so much. I just think it's a heart of God. This is just God's heart that uh, you're sharing. Uh, so do you have any last words that you want to tell our viewers, someone watching this video? You know, one of the things I do as a counselor is when someone um, comes before me, I have to have the end in mind. Hmm. I know there is something uh, that they're struggling with. So I'm not, I'm not only listening to their problem, but God has the solution to their problem. Yeah. So I have to go to the end results of what I'm going to work forward with hmm. because I want to see graduate counseling and to love the Lord. Hmm. So when it's when it comes to our lives, have the end in mind. Want to do you want to hear well done? Oh. 
I want to hear well done. That's good. Yes. I, I want to be in the in the um, in the remnant that says, like what, what Paul said, I've kept the faith. Yes, yes, yes. I fought a good fight. Mm -hmm. You know, Paul said he 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 knew there was a crown laid up for him. Yeah. He he said it wasn't just for him. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Have the end, have it what, have your obedience to what God has said in his word, the thing that you do and that you purpose to do daily. Yeah. So that when life gets to its end hmm. and, and you are facing your last breath, well done. Have oh end. my. Wow. Have the end in mind. Have the end in mind, yes. And the middle will take care of itself as you as you yield yourself to the Holy Spirit. Wow. Oh, Jesus, that is just incredible. Have the end in mind. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm so honored that you you came and just all what you've shared. You. And um for all our viewers, uh, you might be, maybe you don't even have a relationship with Jesus and you've heard all of this. You're like, oh, wow. How do I become a missionary? You have to start with giving your life to Christ. So if you don't have a relationship with Jesus, you can start uh, oh, today. Yeah. All you need to do is believe Jesus in your heart that he died on the cross for your sins. Confess him as your Lord and Savior and your life will be changed and you'll be amazed by what God does uh, with you and through you. And so... I'm going to pray for you if you want to make that commitment uh, um, this evening and then we will be done for today. Father, thank you so much for these ones that are out who are making a commitment to you. Uh, if you would just say the prayer with me, say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you are my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart. Change my life. Transform me. Give me a new beginning. From now on, God, I belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. God, I pray for them that you would keep them, you would watch over them, you would preserve them. They will grow to know you, to love you, to fulfill your plans and your purpose. If you just made that decision, please ask, I'm put a message in the, in, the, in the chat and we are going to reach out to you and help you in your faith. Thank you so much, Miss Maggie. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. What a joy uh, this night, yes. And thank you 